Understanding Seuss, a guide to slang and English. Hello, everyone. Today we're diving into a piece of English slang that's become incredibly popular, especially online. The word is Seuss, short for suspicious. Whether you're watching a movie, reading an internet forum, or playing a game, knowing what Seuss means can be super helpful. So, let's get into it. Seuss is an abbreviation for the word suspicious. It's often used to describe someone or something that seems questionable or untrustworthy. It gained a lot of popularity with the game Among Us, where players use it to call out behavior that seems like it could be that of an imposter. But it's not just limited to games. You might hear Seuss in various contexts, from casual conversations to social media. To understand how Seuss is used, let's look at some examples. I don't trust him, he's acting Seuss. Why is this door open? That's pretty Seuss. She says she was at home, but that story seems a bit Seuss to me. Notice how Seuss is used to express doubt or mistrust about someone's actions, statements, or situations. While Seuss is the most common form, you might also hear Susp, another short form for suspicious, though less common. Suspect, the full word, which can be used in formal and informal contexts. Seuss is very casual and mostly used in informal settings. It's perfect for social media posts, casual conversations with friends, online gaming, However, it's not suitable for formal or professional communication. So, you wouldn't want to use SUS in a job interview, an academic paper, or official emails. SUS isn't just a word, it's a part of internet culture. It represents how language evolves and adapts, especially among younger generations and in online communities. Understanding slang like Seuss can help you connect with these communities and understand the nuances of modern, informal English. And that's a wrap on Seuss. Remember, while it's a fun and trendy piece of slang, it's best kept in casual, informal situations. We hope this video has shed some light on the meaning and use of Seuss, and that you feel more confident in navigating the ever-changing world of English slang. Thanks for watching, and stay curious.